All right, um, here's some of the flies that I've tied. Uh, got some nymphs up here. Uh, I've tied every one of these in this in this box here. That's a pheasant tail, probably a little too long. But then here's a, uh, I think that's a uh, size 10 uh, pheasant tail with little peacock curls, a jig head. And that is a, uh, a dubbing one. And then here's a little midge that I tied. That's like on a size 14. Um, here's another little midge looking fly. I'm going to have to just put all these in here. And uh, that's an airs, hare's ear nymph. And this is like a like a like a stone fly or like a prince nymph or uh, but it's made with a pheasant tail but it's a swimming nymph so that looks nice um, and let's see what did I tie tonight Let's see, I tied one tonight. Oh, was it this one that I tied? No, that ain't it. Um, oh, here, here, here's one that I tied tonight. Um, that's another size 10. Um, and then... Here's like a like a streamer style. I think that's a six on a size six. And then, uh, then I, I tied some of these. Uh, I tied some just like woolly buggers, crystal buggers, and then and then you know uh, I tied this clouser. Um, and then here's some uh, like some soft tackle. Here, here's like a woolly bugger with a soft tackle on it. Um, here's another one. It's, that, these are those are probably going to be work real well. Um, I like this one too. Um, but I, I tied all these. This is like my trout box for the Guadalupe River. And then here's some bigger ones. Uh, I went ahead and at the suggestion of someone else I went ahead and took the weed guard off of this one um, but they supposedly can have some big brown trouts and then I tied some articulated ones um, you know just in case the bass comes I'm, I'm, I got some more stone flies I, I, I got a bigger woolly booger here um, and then I got this little like a little streamer that I tied um, it's kind of a bigger larger one and you know, just a good, like a pseudo crawfish clouser type imitation. And uh, here, just here's another basic woolly bugger, crystal bugger cone head. Then I got these articulated uh, streamers here. Uh, those are going to be real nice. But you know, uh, I got, I, I still got some more stuff that I want to put in here. I'm, I might do some dries. Uh, some dry flies like in some uh, I think I got some 16s and 14s and I got 12s and I can make some dry flies but uh, yeah this, this is just basically all my uh, you know I like this one here it's a nice crop you know it's always good to have those those, those beet head crystal buggers in, in, anything and they're all pretty much weighted except this this midge that I tied tonight it's just got the beet head in it, but uh, that's going to be a real small one, and it's going to be a real nice one to throw in there. Um, I really like these. Uh, I got I got some other streamers too, but I think this is going to be a good one for like some hungry brown trout, and then this this will work too for. I already showed y'all that. That's like a crawfish of some sort. Uh, you know, got rubber legs on it and stuff. And these articulated those are nice but uh yeah all right thanks for watching